welcome welcome back to my channel if you're new to this channel hi my name is moba and i'm here to chit chat with you if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back so this video is going to be a little bit different because um first of all my space and also i'm going to be holding my phone the whole time because i don't have a mount anyways so um as you can see from the title of this video today we're going to be talking about the green flags in friendships so i went to my instagram and i asked the question what are some of your green flags in a friendship so this can apply to the green flags that you look out for in people or the green flag the green flags that you yourself um put out there in your like character or your behavior uh, and whatnot so i did get a few responses and so this video is going to be me going through each list sorry going through each response and then giving my two cents about it whether i agree or what i think about that statement and whatnot so i really hope you guys enjoy it and if you do please do give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and come back for more videos okay period so let's get into it number one what are some of your green flags in a friendship willing to resolve conflicts i'm not gonna lie i've never been that person who confronts people i tend to distance myself depending on what the situation is like for instance if you keep on doing the same thing to me like let's say you you do it the first time i confront the situation and i tell you like mm, i feel like this and this and this and this and this and this and then you're like oh, okay what, what what sorry about it da, da, da. and then you do the thing again but then i'm like we talked about this so then this time around i don't really say anything i kind of just like take it and then if it keeps on recurring i'm just like mm -mm, mm -mm. this ain't it let me just distance myself from this situation i feel like i tend to do that to protect myself because sometimes you can see like there's no use in keeping this friendship and also if someone shows you that they are red they are red in some situ in, in some certain situations like for example i have certain values and with those values if someone goes against them intentionally not like by mistake then i'm just like mm -mm, i can't be um interacting with this person and stuff like that so then i just kind of like move on and i'm like oh well it was good while it lasted but also i don't unfriend the person my energy towards the person will be what changes i don't know how to explain it but yeah you have to assess the situation and see whether or not you're better off with this person with this person in your life or without the person in your life if you want the person to still be in your life then resolve that conflict and move on and move past it if it's not worth your energy just move on it's okay to do that that's what i think personally um and that's what i tend to do so it's not the right thing it's not the wrong thing it's just that okay the next one is the ones that aren't threatened by my other friends this one i feel like is directed to obviously um the green flags that this person sees in others this i totally agree with guys we're individuals we are individuals and the way we interact with different people will always be different on one side you might have deep meaningful conversations with someone but with like person a but you can't have the same conversations with person b and that is okay it doesn't mean that you don't regard person b high highly in your life or whatever you just feel more comfortable speaking to the other person or you have similar interests you have similar values you have similar ways of seeing certain things there are some friends that i have that i know like mm, there are certain things i can't speak to them about it's not because i dislike them or anything but the, it is what it is <laughs> it just is what it is and also um you know that thing where people say like every person knows a different side of you i totally agree with that and it's okay because there'll be people that i want to be ratchet with because they also have that ratchet vibe there'll be people that i want to be mature mama and i'm like okay because this person is a very serious person yada 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 and then there are people who like to be childish and i'm like okay i'm comfortable being childish with this person but it doesn't mean that i don't trust the other people and stuff like that it's just like i'm just comfortable with that's just how life is set up to be honest that's just how it is and we move <laughs> the next one empathy empathy is a very good value to have you guys like yo if you don't have empathy 
what is you doing there are times when you just have to be considerate of people's feelings like wait why would this person react like that they don't normally react like that you know take a step back and then assess the situation feel put yourself in people's shoes man especially when there are situations where um let's say for example if it's like a financial situation and then your friend tells you like ah oh, sorry i can't help you out this time around because things are tough at home just understand don't start saying this person is not a nice person because why can't they help me out they always have money but now when it's my turn what or like guys there are times when you just have to put yourself in people's shoes and understand where they're coming from and take it then move on move on with your life just be understanding that's all it is being understanding and being and acknowledging people's feelings so the empathy thing is definitely a green flag in my eyes i totally agree the next one is thoughtfulness this i feel like also comes in hand with the empathy when you're very thoughtful you don't you don't put your uh your feelings or your your stuff before you before people are around you like for example oh, sorry guys my hand was hurting but what i was saying is that um thoughtfulness for example you when you call your friend you're always the one who wants to just complain 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 venting 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 even before asking how your friend is doing you ask your friend if they are in the mindset to have a discussion about something that is bothering you then you proceed it's just good manners don't be that person who just wants to focus on me 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 so if me i have issues i just want to be calling you and complaining about them but if it's something that is positive i'm not even talking to you about anything i do not like that to be honest but people tend to do that and <sighs> to each his own but for me personally being thoughtful and being empathetic are very very good values to have in your life because you can't be always putting you and your issues and your problems and whatever first especially in friendships do not do that you guys the next one um the next person said i care too much and i always make sure i show up no matter what i guess that's like her green flag which she um yeah she sees herself as that friend who shows up no matter what i mean with this one i mean i can't take it from her that's her truth right but for me personally i feel like i will show up when i can and the reason why i'm saying i'll show up when i can is that sometimes you're just not in the right space to show up for your friend you know like you might be going through something and then your friend comes to you with a certain situation and then you can't really do anything about it but it's not because you don't care for them you're just not in that headspace so i feel like for me yes i care and i want to be there for people i want to assist where i can and that's what i live by it's not um a thing of like no matter what i will show up i mean i get it but for me personally that's not how i do things i just feel like when i can i will show up when i can't i just can't and i feel like it's important for for people to understand that and i'm also understanding if someone can't show up for me it's okay because guys we all go through things hey we really do and this might be a positive thing yes but it might also end up being a negative thing on your part because now it's like you're um, carrying people's burdens and who's gonna carry yours you know are they also reciprocating the same energy that you're putting out wait there's this saying about a cup do not start to pour out if your cup is not overflowing yes your cup can be full but let people get gain from what is overflowing not from what is in the cup because what will happen is that if people take 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 from the full cup what happens the cup ends up running dry and becomes empty so this can be a positive thing yes but at the same time it can also be a negative thing on your part when you're just constantly showing up for people no matter what and then they're not doing the same you start to feel like you're putting in so much in other people's lives but they're not doing the same for you i hope that makes sense yeah the next one is honesty regardless 
I respect that to be honest and I feel like I need to practice that more because sometimes when I'm an annoyed with someone I won't let them know that I'm annoyed with them I just tend to brush things off but it's not like they power up I just feel like I'm a very understanding person sometimes and when someone pushes me to that point where I just lash out then uh uh-uh, what they've done is really like serious like it's very serious but i get it like honesty is a very important thing if you feel like ah oh, no i don't want to do that just say it don't go there now like let's say your friend invites you to an event you could have just said you didn't want to go now you're at that event and you're giving negative vibes you know don't do that just be honest about things and yeah for me the one that i need to work on is being honest when someone hurts my feelings because i have this thing where i'm just like you know what Ain't no way I'm letting this person know that they hurt my feelings. And then I move on. Oh, I just saw someone who's driving a manual and the car's like gone off and is by the hump. Mm, you're doing great. You're doing great. Okay, sorry. Ish, guys, it's distracting when you're seeing cars. Anyway, so honesty is a, gr- is a great, great, great green flag. The next one is clear communication yeah same thing as the honesty thing just communicate guys if you can't do something for someone just communicate if you don't want to do something just communicate and then also the people that are receiving the responses you be understanding just accept when someone tells you that they can't do a certain thing accept and move on and just that's how you move past these things and that's how people learn yeah and then the last one um this person said when they don't have a girl or boy best friend i feel like this is more of a relationship thing i think maybe they read the friendship thing as a relationship thing and i understand it more and i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna sit here and lie that i don't get where this person is coming from because sometimes it does get overwhelming when you're in a relationship with someone and their best friend is the opposite sex because you start to feel like ah you start to feel like I don't know like intimidated or something and I don't get why people look at it as a bad thing you're just being protective of your your man or your girl you don't want them to be around this guy and sometimes maybe you just know what the other person's intentions are but I mean if they are pure and completely is it platonic like where the people are just like friends friends where it's like their cousins or whatever then maybe in that situation you'd be okay with it and I feel like maybe boundaries should be set in such situations so that the other person doesn't feel like um, the best friend in this situation is overstepping. I hope that makes sense. But I understand. I understand you, girl. I feel you. (laughs) I feel you. I would obviously hate that. I'm not in that situation, but I feel like I would hate it because I am so, um, what's the thing? I don't want to say territorial but i kind of am i'm like no my man my man my man if you're a girl go away <laughs> but that's just me guys um and we've come to the end of this video i really hope you enjoyed it please comment down below what you guys think if you agree with me if you don't agree with me you can also leave a comment and also comment down below some of the green flags that you find in relationships oh sorry in friendships next time we're going to talk about in relationships and then next time we're going to talk about them red flags honey we decided to start on a positive thing so next time we're going to be more negative and talk about the red flags because the red flags they can be red as hell anyways thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next one bye if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure to do so at mcm underscore muya and come back for more videos. Okay, bye for real this time.